There we go. Hey everybody, Kyle Merlet here with Vanity Chic Magic. I'm with my buddy Francis Mignotti and we're here at South Street Magic, yep. Philadelphia. Uh, I'm performing here doing shows. Francis performs here and does shows. And we met up and he's giving me some really good hospitality. Yeah. Uh, making me crepes. Nice. Yeah, this was, uh, it was a good, uh, it was a good breakfast. Good breakfast. Morning, yeah. And a and, very um, late night of jamming and all yeah that. and I, I i decided to stop and make a video with francis to talk about his new effect wordsmith which i'm sure most of you have heard about and know about i've heard about it have you heard about it yeah you have one have you bought I one did, yeah okay a couple, cool. actually cool uh and uh and because i know a couple of people that i read online on you know the cafe and facebook and things like that have a couple questions mm -hmm. about it and maybe you can answer them. Uh, i'll try I can answer them. They might not be the right answer. Sure. Uh, so first of all, let's talk about the effects. Like you, this is something because you don't. Re I mean, you release material, but you don't release a lot of material. No, I'm pretty picky about what I release. It's only things that I have used, create for myself, and used for a long time, and then put out. So yeah. So I mean, in Wordsmith, I mean, you created this forever ago, right? Uh, Ten years, twelve years, something. It's like not that. a worker. It's not worked out. No. 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 I decided why use it anymore. I should just give it away. Yeah, of course. No, uh, I but, still I use it in all my shows, actually. So for ten years you've Especially been working on this. Uh, for, they like the big words. <laughs> yeah, the big words. Yeah, uh, vocabulary. Yeah. So you've done this for ten years, and then you decided to release it to community. But mm -hmm. then before you released it, mm -hmm. uh, you fooled Penn and Teller. I did. Which is amazing. Yeah. And you actually. I was amazed too. It was fun. And yeah, you're actually uh, heading to perform for Pintel in Pintel uh, show. And, uh, yeah, this in just a couple days. Yeah. So. Cool. Right. Um, now, a couple questions that I've seen, and I think these are probably, you know, I've had a lot of questions. You know, some people emailing, like said on the cafe. But I think the two questions I would really like to hit home with mm -hmm. are, I think the first one is, um, I don't even know if I want to necessarily talk method, but. Uh, you, you receive everything um, with the, the effect. You receive right. everything you need. And some people are asking why is there a force bag mm -hmm. plus a gimmick tray? Because you could do it with just a gimmick tray. Sure. Or just a force bag. Or just a force bag, yeah. Um, I, so, like with anything you create, I mean, I did this, uh, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago is when I first started playing with it. I went through so many different methods, uh, including methods completely different from this. Like, I even had a tray, a silver tray that I would switch the tiles on, which is what I actually pretended to use on Penn and Teller to try gotcha. to lead them down that path. Um, and then when I eventually turned it, I eventually turned it into what I have here. I used to use a like an opaque bag. Uh, anytime I create something, I kind of focus group it. I, I listen to or have other people listen to what the audience is saying and say, they're guessing this, they're guessing that. And whatever they're guessing at, I try to go, all right, how can I make it so they're not they're going to think that they're satisfied. Like, kind of look at it as a, uh, like a Tamarese approach. I try to say, okay, give them all these different options, or find out all the different options, just take them all away from them. Sure. Um, so with the gimmick, with the force bag, uh, the reason I have it clear, well, for one thing, I like that all, two of, two of the main props that you use in this routine, you can use for so many other routines. Mm -hmm. You can use the force bag for other kinds of things, uh, which is why I, I like multiple useful things. And the other thing is the uh, the pencil. Right, which is really um, nicely made. I was really surprised, because when I opened it up, I was like, oh, they, why did they give me I a pencil? I was super excited how well it was made. I used to make them and sell them myself at lectures, and if, in, in my opinion, <laughs> if I were to present it with this trick, I would buy it just for that gimmick alone. Because it's really nicely made and it works really, it, it, or it doesn't work, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it, it doesn't work properly. It does its job. It yeah. does its job, uh, and it it's, feels like it should. So, this sounds really weird. Um, but anyway, so the back to the the horse tray. Uh, the reason I have that gimmick bag is so that first of all they can see. You can see the letters, uh, mm -hmm. and you really can. You can take them out and say, "Hey, see, these are all different letters." When I first started performing, I did that. I didn't like it. It was overkill. That was another sense. question we saw, which was. Um, I, and I think it's because people thought maybe you couldn't pull out random Oh, you can. Now, you I, can. I went on and commented, but yeah, you could totally reach out. Yeah, you can reach and, into the bag and show hands full. You can actually have a bunch of people take out real le other letters and show that they're all different and dump them back in and then have the seven people select the ones that you want. Mm -hmm. um, now, without going too much into the method of it, uh, the reason is that when people grab their letter, later on they're going to see their letter up there on the tray. Right. It's not like... It's not like they're reaching in and, and pulling they're out a Z the and then the Z is gone. Right, exactly. You know, later on. Which or, was an issue that I actually faced. Which is kind of like a tossed out deck principle. Like, yeah, in fact, that's exactly what it's based right. on. It's the Hoy, uh, there's a lot of Hoy tossed out deck and Hoy, Hoy principle in general to make people feel like when I point out, oh, that person, yeah, you have this, uh, or who had the H, who had the, or whatever the word is, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, d d those people then feel like, oh, yeah. 
uh, I saw my letter and everyone, even if I don't point to every single person, each person then feels like, well, I could have pointed to them too mm -hmm. and isolated them. So then the second part is to have that tray, um, the, the gimmicked uh, uh, rack, mm -hmm. tile rack it's called, um, is so that I guarantee to have all the letters that I need sure. um, and you see the right, exact right, right. word that you want. Right. Uh, because well, now one thing you do that was really, really thought out, and I, and I at first I was like, well, why is that? And then I was like, that's very, very smart. Was um, normally with force bags, mm -hmm. you reach in, like let's say you're trying to force um, one coin, right. and, but it looks like a bunch of coins. <laughs> normally, when you reach in, you the spectator only feels the one coin, right? Which is kind of weird for them. Yeah. Now with you, you actually have the tw 25, 26, whatever There's amount of 50, letters. Fifty actually, fifty in each half. Oh wow! Okay, about so, that, so so fifty letters. That they can reach in now they're all part of the same letter but like the same yeah, they're all the same word yep, yep. but when you reach in they really are feeling as though they have a really free choice and even the last person and that was actually something we almost did for fool us was um one of the producers actually uh mike close was recommending that um for the last person i say now you can really reach in and feel that there are more tiles in there sure. right um and for timing reasons yeah, of course. i decided yeah. let's Keep moving, you know. It's but they could, you could, along. but you could do, do that. that, right? Um, but it's also a matter of gilding the lily. Like, how much is really necessary for fooling a magician? That's one thing. For a lay audience, we think differently than lay right. audiences do. Of course. Um, so yeah, that, that's does that answer the question? Yeah, He's yeah, I think I think so. Yeah, and then the second question, yeah. and I think this is the other big one, is uh, what if you want to do another word besides the one that comes with it? Now, right. just a, a, a note. Now, the one that you used on Pin and Teller was lobster. That's right? a, yeah. But that's not the one that you receive no. with the the uh, the one you when you receive when you buy it. Right. In fact, I I made that one. I mean, the first prototype before I even approached Vanishing Ink, and we talked about it. I used to make them myself, and I I used to change the words out a lot, and then I realized after a while that I wasn't changing the word. Even when I did it for repeat shows. Um, uh, most of the time I would not change the word out. And it was, that was a personal preference for mine. I didn't find it necessary within the context of my full show. Mm -hmm. um, that said, it's not that hard to change the word. It's, uh, I mean, what I've done myself, if you want to, is I've uh, printed out a label, printed out mm -hmm. stickers. Like I, some, Once in a while for a special event, I'll... Customize a word. Yeah, absolutely. Like so what I'll do is I'll say, hmm, what word do I want? I know. I'll take these seven, seven letter word. I'll take them and put the tiles on the... You know, take the picture of them or scan them, sure. print them out on photo paper, split Just the photo paper. Yeah. Not the easiest thing in the world to do, but it was worth it to me to do for Penn and Teller Fools because A, I knew I was going to be releasing sure. the trick and I didn't want the same word out there. Secondly, lobster is inside jokes for people right, who know right. my theme and all sure. that stuff, so it just made sense. Um, so, I mean, to change the word, it's not, I mean, it's not crazy hard work is this going to take no, a little bit of work a little bit of work um and i think you guys i think we have yeah vanishing uh, has um we actually have different words uh <laughs> that we can send you so including in other languages we got french uh, uh spanish german i think yeah uh, and there's a, there's a couple, couple there's, a, yeah. there's like a dozen or something um, um but um but also um so we're sending you them so if you want to do it now it's not something you can change in and out within moments notice but you could change it out you know, a couple hours before your show. Yeah, I'll give you whatever. an example. Actually, just last uh, two weeks ago, I was performing at the Magic Castle and doing the close-up room. And for the close-up room, you're doing 28 shows during that week. There, uh, so I was thinking, well, there might be some people coming back, back. to see the show, same right. shows. And at first, I had two sets, and I was using two different words uh, for the first couple of days. And I realized that the changeover was not as much as I thought it would be. Mostly, there were magicians coming back to see a show. And if it's lay audience, if it's magicians, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, my concern is the lay audience, and the lay audience wasn't seeing the same shows. And even if they did, again, within the context of my performance, it didn't sure. matter as much. Right, right, right. So um, yeah, so yeah. I mean, it's not too difficult. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of work. Um, but yeah, I think that, I think that answers most questions. Cool. I think yeah. that was all the ones. That, anything else you? Um, no, I mean, just I've been, I've played with a bunch of different methods. Uh, this is what I finally settled on, and it worked. Yeah. It's been working for me for a long time, and I've been. During yeah. about 10 years or whatever, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I will be for a while. Well, thanks, dude. High yeah, fives. absolutely. High five thanks. it out. Cool. Thanks for watching. Thanks.